This month, we are sharing an add-on with all our members, and this add-on is named as Distribute on Curve, so in this short tutorial, we'll discuss what this add-on can do. Let's say you have created some curve like this, and now you want to place some copies of another object on this curve, at an equal gap, just like a Q. This is where our add-on can be very useful and handy. We have to first select a curve in this field, but if you already have a curve object selected, it will automatically come over here, or you can select from this object list. Then, in the target object, we have to select that object, which we want to instantiate on this curve. Either you can select it from this list, or use this eyedropper tool to pick up the target object. Then this count value will determine the number of instances that will be created on this curve. Let's change this value to say 20. And we'll use the alignment type as aligned to the curve. It will generate a queue like this, where the specified number of copies of the target object will be lined up back to back from the start point of the curve to its end point. If you need to modify any parameter, you can still do that from here. For example, in this alignment type, we can see three options. So if we select side by side, the instances or the copies will be placed parallel to the curve length, with an equal gap between each pair. And there is another interesting option, but before we use that, we need to add a guiding object. So let's undo the steps we have done so far, and from the add menu, let's add a cube. We can resize the cube by half and move it to some distance. Let's then select the curve and we'll open our add-on like before. We have the old values here, but we'll change the alignment type to look at an object. And we have to also select an object to look at here, so let's pick up this cube. This time, the add-on will create the instances in such a way that they will all look at this cube. Even if you move this object, all the instances will change their orientation and will still be looking at this. If you want, you can even turn off this option in the add-on and permanently lock their positions. This function is similar to attract a constraint, but we actually did this through some geometry nodes. This add-on is available for the existing members of this channel, and you can also download it if you join us before the end of this month or later from our online stores. And please remember that the target object should not have any rotations applied, they should have the default rotations. And if it has a location offset, the same will be used for each instance, so the location offset may be useful at times, but don't apply any rotation. Blender has no idea about which side is the front side of an object, it blindly uses the negative y-axis as the front side, so any arbitrary rotation will ruin this setup. Next week, we will discuss an interesting application of this add-on, we'll create a domino animation with this. If you are not yet a member of this channel, you can join us by clicking on the join button below. Along with the monthly free Blender assets, you'll also get access to all our tutorial files to help you learn Blender. So I hope you find this add-on useful, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.